Hi, my name is Natalie Wilding. I'm the product owner here at Ascendex for the web applications team. And I'm here today to demo to you our new messaging studio application. And this is an application we built to help you build really amazing, really quick, easy to use landing pages. Um, so I'm in the front page of our messaging studio application and I'm gonna walk through how to actually build up a landing page with you today. So I have a couple options available to me. I have the My Templates area, but I also have example templates. So we've put in example templates into the application um, as a way for you to actually quickly go in and build up something that looks really great and really and do it very easily. So I'm gonna click on Sales Promotion 1 and I'm gonna customize it, which is the option that's available to me here. I'm gonna name my template so that I know if I come back to it, what it was called. So Infinity, which is the name of my furniture company, March Sale. On the introductory message, we've already provided that for you. You, of course, can tweak it however you'd like to. So in this case, I'm going to say buy in store this month. Um, and it's not really a cashback offer. It's more of a sale offer. So to get 30 to 40% off, click the link below for more information. So I do want them to know they can click the link for more information. So I'm gonna click on my add rich content button and that will take me to my editor. So the editor is how you're gonna be able to build up landing, a landing page really quickly. We've already provided you a layout, um, which you of course can replace because we know that you'll want to make sure the branding is fit for your company. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace this logo with my logo for Infinity Furniture. Second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace this image. It doesn't really fit with what I'm looking for for my particular landing page. So I'm gonna pull up a picture that I already have on my computer. And then I'm gonna delete this because it doesn't really fit with the offers that I'm giving my customers. So I'm gonna delete that block. And I'm gonna change this so that it fits to the sale that I'm providing my customers. So um, first I'm gonna say selected furniture sets this March and receive up to 30 to 40% off. on any in-store purchase. I can change the colors. I can change the text size, alignment, and weight of my text. In this case, I wanna make it blue, which kind of matches with um, my branding. If you wanna make it your own color blue, you can go into our style tab and you can change any of the colors. So if I wanna make this a darker blue, black, I can do that. We've also provided you the option for hex color. So if you have a specific hex color for your brand, you can copy and paste that in here and it will match your branding. In this case, I'm going to leave it as blue because I like that it's blue. I can also do page padding and item spacing. Page padding will allow me to put a little bit more padding around my card, which is this area right here. But I can also change the spacing between my items. So I'm going to kind of leave it a little bit more inset and separated so that it looks a little more clean when my customers are viewing it. I'm gonna go back to editing my text. So if I click on this and go back to item properties, I can change the text size. I'm gonna make it large so it's a little more visible to my customers and I'm gonna make it bold so it's got that eye-catching pop to it. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my call to action button so I can change the display text so what it says. I'm gonna put view offers now on our website. And I'm going to change the link because I want it to go to my furniture company website. And I'm going to change the text color. Now you can change the text color, the background color, and the border color of your buttons. You can see that I've kind of outlined it a little bit more. I'm going to leave it as um, a white border color because I want it to be a little more clean when my customers click on it. So now I've got my um, landing page. I've replaced all of the images that I wanted to replace on the example template. I've changed the text a little bit, but it didn't take me that long to do. So at this point, I can do a couple more things so I can change the settings. Page title is the title of the browser or tab whenever the user opens it up in a browser. Web preview, so the title is the title that pops up when the link, and this is for supported phones such as iOS and some Androids, when the link pops up in their phone and their messaging client. Um, it will have an image and then underneath that a title kind of explaining what the link is when the user clicks on it. 
In this case, I'm going to say Infamy Furnishings March Sale so that they know that when they click on it, they'll get a little bit more information about the sale. And I'm also going to put in my logo here so that when the customer uh, opens up that message, they know that it's from me, Infamy, and they know what it's going to be about. So at this point, I've done everything that I need to do. I did it very quickly and very easily. So I'm going to click on Save. And now it'll tell me that my uh, my template was saved and I can actually see that for future uses, but I can send it right now as well. So if I click on send, it will take me to the first page of our send wizard. So that will allow me to choose my template if I went straight there through the send a message option on the left hand side, or I can um, upload my recipient spreadsheet. So in this case, I'm gonna click on these phone numbers. I'm gonna upload my spreadsheet. It gives me the green check mark, which means everything went okay. I'm gonna click on next to go to the next page. Next page basically gives me the option to choose uh, phone numbers in the spreadsheet, but we auto detect whichever column contains the phone number, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Then I'm gonna click on next, and this just kind of allows me to finalize my uh, campaign to send. So in this case, I'm gonna name the campaign um, Infini Furniture. March sale so that when I want to look at my report later, I can um, go back and make sure that I'm looking at the correct report. Um, sender of the message, so that's obviously Infinity, so I'm sending it as myself. Um, I can schedule my campaign for later, but in this case, I'm going to send it now. Um, I can also set an expiration date on my landing page, so two weeks up to a year, and I can change the vanity text or the unique URL. So in this case, I'm going to say Infinity Furnishing so that my customers know that it's coming from me. And I'm going to click on preview. So you can see that your intro message is displayed there with the link below. As I kind of said previously, the web preview, if phones support it, that will uh, turn into an image of my logo and a quick little um, explanation of what the landing page is going to be. In this case, I'm going to click on it so that I can make sure the landing page looks how I want. I have my logo there, the picture of an example of what I'm going to be selling, some more information about what the recipient can expect and a quick little link to my website. So um, I can click on send. It will successfully send to my spreadsheet recipients, the recipients on my spreadsheet, and I should be all good to go. It will take me back to my template library and you're ready to send again or create a new template. I hope this has been really easy and quick for you and you can see how you can create a really beautiful landing page very quickly and very easily. Thanks so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Bye.